The concept of propeller-driven rail cars originated during World War I when German engineer Otto Steinitz tested aircraft engines on rail cars. After the war, Steinitz designed the Dringo's Wagen, a two-axle car with aircraft engines at each end. Although it had limited success, the idea inspired other engineers. In the 1920s, Franz Friedrich Krukenberg and Kurt Wiesinger explored similar concepts. Krukenberg, who had experience in airship and aircraft design, partnered with Kurt Stedefeld to form the Railplane Company in 1928. Their goal was to build a propeller-driven railcar to validate concepts for a proposed overhead rail system. Collaborating with the German Aviation Research Institute, the Railplane Company developed a test railcar that achieved speeds up to 109 miles per hour. This led to the design of the Rail Zeppelin, a streamlined, propeller-driven railcar. The Rail Zeppelin featured a steel chassis with an aluminum frame, two axles, and a single BMW 6V12 engine powering a rear-mounted propeller. Completed in September 1930, the Rail Zeppelin underwent extensive testing. It debuted to the press in October 1930 and began mainline tests in May 1931. On the June 21, 1931, it set a new speed record for passenger rail travel, averaging 143 miles per hour over a 7.5-mile stretch between Karstedt and Dergenthen. Despite its impressive performance, the rail Zeppelin faced practical challenges. Its long wheelbase caused issues on tight curves and its braking system required long stopping distances. The exposed propeller posed safety concerns and the design did not allow for coupling multiple units. In response to these limitations, Krukenberg's team shifted focus to a diesel hydraulic drive system. They modified the rail Zeppelin in 1932 to 1933 replacing the propeller with a diesel engine driving a double-axle bogey. This revised version reached speeds of up to 99 miles per hour during testing. However, the German State Railroad Company became interested in diesel-electric engines, and the rail Zeppelin project lost momentum. The machine was sold to the German State Railroad Company in 1934 and eventually scrapped in 1939 for its metal. The Rail Zeppelin's legacy continued with the Kruckenberg designed SVT 137 155, a three section express train that set a conventional passenger train speed record of 134 miles per hour in 1939. Although it never entered regular service, the SVT 137 155 demonstrated the potential of high speed rail technology inspired by the original Rail Zeppelin concept.